Hey friends, this is Jerry from Parkflyer. Today, we're talking about how to flash the firmware on your 9X transmitter. Specifically in this video, I'll show you where to download open source firmware like ER9X or Open9X, where to download an EEPROM editor, which is the software you'll need to run on your computer to download the firmware to your transmitter, and then we'll go through a full flash process of the 9X transmitter. After that, we'll install some sample models, I'll show you how to calibrate your radio, and then go over the basic setups that you'll need to get started. For prerequisites, you'll need to have a backlight and a programmer already installed in your transmitter. And if you haven't done that yet, check out our other video where we go over all those steps. You're also going to need a computer. And this can be a PC, it can be a Mac, or it can be a Linux box. And you're going to need a mini USB cable. All right, let's dive in. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to your computer and collect all the bits, the software and the, the information we're going to need to download to your transmitter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my web browser, in this case it's Firefox, and I am going to parkflyer.com, which is our website. And up on Parkflyer in the support section, we've put together a little cheat sheet with all the links of places that you need to go. You'll find it you know, right, right in the support section. The first place we're going to go is the 9X Forums, which is an awesome resource. It has pretty much everything you'd ever want to know about open source firmware on your radio. And the first thing you need to do is really figure out which one you want. So up on 9X Forums, they have a great wiki site that goes into the detail about all the different projects that are available. For this, I'm going to choose ER9X. I'm going to click on the link so I can go to the Google page dedicated to ER9X. And then once on the page, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find the latest stable release. There's newer releases that are still in development and testing, which you're welcome to try. I prefer to go with a stable release. So I'm going to download that to my computer. And the best way to download it is to right click on it and then find a place on your hard drive to save it. And you're going to be downloading a couple files. So, you know, find a place on your hard drive that'll be easy to find them when we need them here in a minute. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to download software that enables our computer to communicate with our transmitter. So we can download our new firmware and update our models and do that sort of stuff. So there are two popular packages. There's EEPE and there's Companion 9X. Both are great. For this demonstration, I'm going to download EEPE. So here I am at the EEPE page and I'm going to download the Macintosh install because I use a Mac. If you use Windows, there's one here. If you use Linux, there's another one here. So download this to a place on your hard drive and we'll install it from there in a few minutes. All right, the third thing that I want to download is the Parkflyer sample models. And this is only useful if you're using the ER9X software because they're specific to that. But what we've done is we've put together a collection of basic models that'll get you started quickly. This is completely optional, but we find it helpful. Then the fourth thing to download, if you're using ER9X, is the Parkflyer ER9X manual. And what we've done is we've taken the great ER9X manual that a lot of people have put time in together, and then we've added recommendations on the different settings. And all of these settings and model configurations match the sample models that you just downloaded. So they work together and it's just a, a quick way to, to get a handle on how to configure your transmitter. All right, now that we have all the bits downloaded for our computer, the next step is to install EEPE on your computer. So depending on which platform you chose, you'll have slightly different installation, but it's gonna install just like any other software you've installed. So go ahead and install that and come back to the video when you're ready to go. All right, now it's time to actually flash the firmware on our transmitter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just boot up my transmitter here and make sure everything's functional. Um, it's important that you have a battery installed because you're gonna need power to be able to do this upgrade. All right, so here I can see everything's normal, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. So I've already taken my battery cover off and here I have the USB connector uh, that comes with the Smarty Parts programmer. If you have a different programmer, yours may be a little different, but there is a way um, to plug in a USB cable. 
So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my USB cable and I'm going to plug it in here to my programmer, just like that. Now, the next really important step, if you have one of the Smarty Parts 2.2 or 2.3 programmers, is to turn the power on to your transmitter. Earlier versions of the Smarty Parts programmer powered the radio off the USB. However, the newer versions don't, so it's important that you have the power on your transmitter turned on. All right, now that we have the power on the transmitter and the USB plugged into both the computer and the transmitter, we're gonna go to our EPE software. Now it's time to actually put the new firmware on our 9X transmitter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my EEPE software, which I installed previously. And then once I have it open, I'm going to find the icon that has the transmitter in a flame. This is what you use to download the new firmware package to your transmitter. Click on it. It's going to open up a dialog box. Then select the version of firmware that you chose to download. I'm going to click open and then it's going to give me a message that says are you sure you want to do this I'm going to click yes and then here I get a screen that shows me the status now if you're getting errors here like communication errors chances are you don't have the power turned on on your transmitter otherwise you should get writing and uh, you'll see little hash marks that show progress this takes about 30 to 45 seconds and then it'll go into a reading mode where it just rereads the, the file and makes certain that it downloaded correctly. When that finishes, you're gonna get a notice that it was successful. So you can go ahead and click OK and close that out. Okay, the first thing that you'll probably notice is a big alert message. So don't, don't worry, this is normal. It's just telling you that something changed in your EEPROM data and that that's a fact, we just changed it. So go ahead and follow the directions and press any key. So now what it's going to do is it's going to reboot and give you several different messages. This is one that's just telling you that, that you currently don't have any special alarms configured. So just keep pushing the buttons. All right, now, as you can see, we've got the 9X firmware installed and we can scroll through our different menus and really see how everything's set up. Now, the sticks are off uh, because we haven't gone through a calibration phase, but we'll do that in just a second. But before we do that, let's go ahead and install the Park Flyer sample models. So we're gonna go back to EEPE, and then this time, we're gonna click the Open folder, you know, or you can also do this under the File menu, and then we're gonna select the Park Flyer EEPE file that we downloaded from parkflyer.com earlier. And here on the screen, we can actually see the different models. And this represents exactly what you're going to see on your transmitter. So you can actually do the programming on your computer and go through here and do all the different setups. Now, we've pre-configured this for you and it matches what we have put in the ParkFlyer manual. So at this point, I don't suggest changing anything. I would get used to this and then you can customize it as much as you want to. All right, so now what we're looking for is the EEPROM chip looking icon and the burn button. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna write this? And we're going to say yes. All right, so this goes through the exact same process as when we were burning the firmware on our transmitter. Uh, it's gonna go a little bit faster, but it'll have a writing phase and then it'll have a reading phase and it'll tell you when you're done successfully. All right, I'm successful. So now I go back to my radio. You can see that it's already rebooted. I'm going to go ahead and just turn it off and turn it back on. Now we get the Park Flyer logo because we added that to um, our version of the ER9X software. That's something that you can change. You can put your picture on there. You can put anything you want to put on there. Uh, we chose to use our logo. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and unplug my USB cable so I can lay it down here on the table flat. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to 
calibrate your sticks. So the way we do that is we go to the radio setup menu. So just click on the left button here and hold it. And that's going to get you to the radio setup menu. Now you'll see a 1-6 in the upper right hand corner here. And so that just means there's six different pages. So we want to go to page six of six. And this is the calibration menu. And the first thing you do is, is follow the directions. You press the menu button once. All right, now the next thing to do is put everything in their midpoint. And this stands for the POTS switches as well. You have three of them. Okay, and when you've done that, press the menu button again. All right, now it's time to move these things to their full extent. And you don't need to really jam it, just move it all the way. And do the same thing for the pot switches. All right, then click the menu button again and you're done. Now it's not going to look like you're done, it's not going to say you're done, but you're done. It just starts the process over. So now we can exit out and there's multiple screens you can choose in ER9X uh, just to show you the display. The ones that I like is this one and it shows you exactly where your sticks are. It also shows you the position of your pots and then it'll also show you if you have different switches on or not. So all right, so now we have ERA9X installed and you're ready to go. So come visit us at parkflyer.com. We've got upgrade kits, receivers, batteries, gadgets, pretty much everything you need to maximize your experience with the 9X transmitter. Hopefully this is helpful and we hope to see you around.